Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James, and in this video, I'd like to talk about Portland. Um, CRM, the Cascades, the Frontliners, Bill's 2000 Special Troops, the ones with the red stripes. They're 10%, uh, kind of 10% of the whole force of about 17,000. They do things that 90% of the rest of the military don't know about, and 100% of the civilians in Civic Republic don't know about. It's these 2000 Frontliners that along with Major General Bill, who commands them, they kind of run the country. They run everything. Uh, you know, they don't run Civic Republic as far as the, the affairs. They have a council to do that. But right outside the walls, it's Major General Bill and the frontliners. They have a power. They have control of the country pretty much, and they want to keep it that way. So that's part of Major General Bill's bigger plan, I think. You know, you could say it's the resource thing is why they did Omaha, but... You know, it really seems like it's because he wants to stay in power. Um, we get little clues from the newspapers. I did videos on those. But let's talk about Portland. I didn't mention Portland a lot in the last video. I wanted to save it to this one because here's a big theory. Summit. It plays around that whole summit thing. Because here's the thing. Rick doesn't have to defeat the Civic Republic, the council, the citizens. There were guys with signs in the park. Most of the citizens want more CRM transparency. There are little things in the newspaper about that. The citizens, you know, disgruntled. But Rick doesn't have to defeat all those people, and he doesn't have to defeat 90% of the military. Just that 10%, and Major General Bill, and probably the upper command. And where are they all supposed to be, possibly? Out at the new base? The frontliner's base? A forward position? They're going to have a summit there? Summit? A big key thing key word because we've heard it before we thought the show was going to be named that at one point it should be happening anytime it's been one year it seems like that's the timeline okafor said it'd be in one year once they finished and they're finished and it's been a year so let's say the summit happens that's possibly the 2000 soldiers with red stripes and we know thorn is one of those now and all the upper command of crm Major General Bill, and maybe they're in on it too. You know, maybe it's not just Major General Bill. All of the upper command is in on it, maybe. And if they are, they're guilty. So the Cascades is where? I mean, right next door to Portland. Portland's pretty big, may have an army. And if those kids have warned them, they have uh, prepared an army. They're prepared to fight. You know, Portland against 2,000 soldiers. Portland against 2,000 soldiers at a summit where they're not really maybe uh, thinking they're going to get attacked maybe. If they can take out that, they don't have to go back and fight at Philly. They don't have to fight those 15,000 that are good that didn't know what Bill was doing, didn't know that CRM was the cause of Omaha. I mean, we kind of knew that already, that that's the only uh, bad seeds inside this problem of CRCRM that Rick has to fight, not everybody. It's not a huge, big CRM against Commonwealth kind of thing. It would just be those 2,000 soldiers against Commonwealth. And that's a much better matchup if you want to do that battle, of course. But what if it's Portland? Rick and or Michonne somehow gets to Portland, realizes they've got an army ready because they've been warned. They know what happened to Omaha and they attack the Cascades and wipe out the upper echelon, and then problem solved. Unless Rick or Michonne dies, let's go home, see the kids. But hey, you guys let me know what you think about it, of course, down in the comments below, and you know I'll join you there. This is James and Nationals. Always thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dead stuff.